The Airbus A340 is one of the most iconic and important planes Airbus has ever built, easily recognizable for its long skinny fuselage and its four double fan engines, which make it one of the most elegant looking planes ever developed. Initially designed to compete against larger airplanes from Boeing and McDonnell Douglas, the A340 helped Airbus to better compete with its American counterparts who at the time had remained unchallenged for decades. Its entry into service had helped open doors for Airbus in the long-haul market segment until something better was brought to the table by Boeing, something which sparked one of the greatest rivalries between the two plane makers and as a result, the Airbus A340 was just fighting a battle which it could not win and its death became inevitable. But how is that so? Let's find out. Just to be clear, the something which I was referring to on the intro is the Boeing 777 and in order for us to understand how the Boeing 777 crashed the Airbus A340, first we need to understand why Airbus built this plane in the first place. After Airbus brought their first plane into the market, that is the Airbus A300, which was later on followed by the A310 and the A320, they slowly began making their mark on the aviation segment and the European and German carriers wanted Airbus to build a four-engine airplane that could challenge the Boeing 747 and the Douglas MD-11 at the time. During their talks with prospective customers, Airbus discovered that the opinion for a new airplane was split into two. The North Americans wanted a twin-engine airplane, while the Asians wanted a four-engine airplane. The main reason as to why the Asians wanted a quad jet, despite the fact that its two extra engines make it more costly to operate, was mainly because of certain restrictions on twin-engine planes called ETOPS. ETOPS, or Extended Range Twin Engine Operational Performance Standards, was the set of rules which governed how far twin engine planes could fly in case one engine failed in the course of the flight. Basically, ETOPS restrictions prohibited twin engine planes from flying overseas, and if they were to do so, they had to fly longer routes which were near land in order for them to be able to divert to an alternate airport in case one engine failed or shut down in the course of the flight. On the other hand, the trijets and the quad jets were not restricted by the ETROPS regulations because they had extra engines and therefore they could fly anywhere. The twin jet eventually became the Airbus A330 while the quad jet became the Airbus A340 and that's how the A340 came into being. The plane later on made its first flight on October 1991 and it began operations with the launch customer Lufthansa. The main selling point of the Airbus A340 was the reliability made possible by its two extra engines since it wasn't limited to routes which it could fly as compared to its smaller sibling, the Airbus A330. With time, as more powerful engines were brought to the market, the ETOPS restrictions on twin-engine planes were lessened and therefore twin-engine planes could fly overseas directly without being near land. This was when airlines began favoring the efficiency brought by two engines over the reliability brought by four engines. Since two engines burn less fuel and cost less to maintain, it made airlines realize how efficient and economical twin engine planes like the Airbus A330 and the Boeing 767 were and thus the Airbus A340 began losing its market share. But these setbacks encountered on the A340's program were not that significant, that is until the Boeing 777 was introduced. As I had mentioned earlier, the A340 selling point was its reliability which was made possible by its four engines. But this design itself presented its own problems because having four engines made the A340 burn more fuel. For Boeing, their solution to this problem was having two large engines on the Boeing 777 which could do the same job as the four on the Airbus A340. And as time went by, Boeing did its own research to prove that two engines are just as safe as four. So the Boeing team went to work, sifting through millions of flight records to show that flights on two engines is just as safe as those on four engines. After months of review and analysis, the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration has agreed, giving long-range Boeing 777's approval to fly up to 330 minutes away from an alternate airport. By introducing this 777, Boeing had a great marketing strategy at hand. 
Since the plane offered the same capacity and range as the Airbus A340, it gave Boeing an up advantage of stealing some of its operators and showing them that their plane was more efficient than the A340. One of these A340 operators Boeing targeted was Singapore Airlines. As a way of getting Singapore Airlines to try out their new plane, Boeing bought 17 A340s from the airline. In turn, Singapore Airlines bought 34 Boeing 777s from Boeing, and from then onwards, Singapore Airlines became a long-term 777 customer. Since Boeing was nibbling up the 340s customers, Airbus decided to act fast. They did so by building large and advanced versions of the Airbus A340. They did so in order to save the program. In 2001, Airbus injected new life into the program and they brought the larger Dash 500 and the Dash 600 versions of the plane, which Airbus thought they would outdo the Boeing 777, as they still supported the fact that four engines were safer than two, and they even had the slogan, four engines for long haul. These new models of the 340 helped Airbus to compete with the 777, but not for long. By 2005, the Boeing 777 had already outsold the Airbus A340, clearly showing how the market trend was slowly shifting towards the more efficient planes like the 777, and this became the nail on the A340's coffin. After it became very clear that Airbus was fighting a losing battle, they had no option but to shut down the production of the A340 in 2011. As of 2020, many airlines are still flying the plane, but sadly, the jet has become a victim of the global pandemic as many airlines are shying away from the quad jets and moving towards the more efficient twin-engine planes. But as sad as the story is, there is still a happy ending for the plane because of the Airbus A350, which was built as a true successor to the fallen Airbus A340. My question for the day is this, do you think the Airbus A340 was a failure or do you think it was a success? Let me know your thoughts through the comment section. As always, thank you very much for watching this video and in case you're new here, my name is Marty and welcome to the Skyline and please subscribe for more great aviation content. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you next time. Have an estimate ahead and please take care. Goodbye.